Hi, you're probably wondering why there are beauty and cosmetic style videos on a conscious living, holistic therapy, um, raising your vibrations kind of account. It's just really about raising your awareness about your consumerism and what you might be purchasing. That isn't necessarily in line with some of the morals and values and ethics that you're working towards. So it's also not just looking at your body, mind and soul from a kind of superficial point of view, but how everything connects and how your um, choices in shopping and what you decide to support all um, interlinks basically and contributes to the state of our planet and also the state of our own health. Especially in this day and age, we've got so much of an abundance of things that has been normalised that we use on an everyday basis and I think it's good as well to really try and advocate a kind of minimum approach when it comes to your beauty routine and the things that you do to make yourself feel groomed and confident or enhance what you already have. So I like to try and keep it to a minimum when it comes to products. It's so easy just to have you know, a whole ton, a whole load of different products to choose from and it can be exciting, especially for someone who is really keen on, you know, makeup and looking at different ways in which to use art on your face basically and a transformation as well. This account is going to be more about looking at the ways in which you can work with the foundations and shine from your foundations rather than um, using your foundations as a canvas. So it's more about enhancing, enhancing your natural beauty and um, products that are your old faithfuls and not looking at like having loads and loads of them. Just having that approach to your makeup and your um, clothes, I guess, as well, that our grandmothers might have had. Just having few, but what you do have, you really use because you really appreciate them. And that can sometimes mean pushing the boat out a little bit in terms of what you're spending on a product. But bearing in mind, if this is something that you're going to religiously use, um, and it's only one of each in your makeup bag, then it means that you are starting to get into a more conscious way of consuming um, and sourcing your products as well. They might be a bit more expensive, but it does mean that you appreciate them and have a bit more gratitude for them as well. So I wanted to put a shout out to a lady whose account I started following on Instagram and her name is Maurice. And she's just got that effortlessly chic, French classic, um, virgin on vintage but with an edge to it as well it's it's just that perfect way of i guess encapsulating a french approach to fashion um i feel like we are really the plebs of the fashion society and industry and in a way it's like we're always playing catch up um they are so far ahead with things and they're not so much high street. I've noticed that British and Americanized cultures are very much, you know, keeping it mainstream, trying to follow trends, whereas I just love how the French know how to pull it together and do it in a, in a way where it's not tacky or it, it's not, and forgive me by the way, it's, it's just everyone's different with the way they look at things, but, um, you know, they do it in such a way where they are keeping it still quite natural and their clothing can make a statement and it, it's very simple some of the things that they do and it, it just works it just it's amazing how they've always been at the forefront of things even when you look back into historical times um you know i'm into a historical tudor novel actually i don't know why i've got such a kind of obsession about those times and i guess it's maybe something to do with women and how women had to live back then and what they were up against and it was you know we were put against pit, pitched against each other and it was very competitive um different times basically we had to find our way to sort of grasp a better chance of life and a lot of it was looking at tactics that weren't in alignment with you know 
women supporting women. Uh, it, was, it was often trying to beat other women or get attention from a male and get that high status position. Um, but yeah, off on a tangent there. Um, my um, old products which were running out, so these are my new faithfuls. So today I have, I've not put on any base or concealer or anything, I just wanted to show how minimum you actually can keep it if you're looking after your skin and your gut and um, you start to get to a place where you're really confident in your own skin then it takes like bare minimum to feel um, that you're ready to go out and feel confident and you, you should be able to do that without any enhancement but we all know that there's little ways that we want to express ourselves through our clothes and our makeup as well so it's getting the balance right I'm drinking green tea Again, if you have about one to three cups of this every day, it's really good as well for the lymphatic system and for draining toxins and for your skin. A lot of antioxidants in green tea, so excuse me, I do have quite a sore throat today. This is by Yolaine, which has been <clears throat> coming to me for about two weeks, so I think Customs checked it. And Yolaine does this little it's a, it is a mousse and it can be used on the lips and the cheeks so it's called La Mousse de Rouge and the packaging is really quite vintage and floral and pretty which is lovely so you really just need a tiny amount I've actually put a real small amount on my lips at the moment just to show how natural you can keep it And if you wanted to rev it up a little bit, it's just in a tube here. You take the smallest amount, like, tiniest amount. I always forget where the lens is. Do you guys do that? Yeah. This is a nude red. So you can keep it as subtle or as bold as you like. You can use a lip brush obviously as well, but yeah, keeping it old school. And that's what I loved about Maurice as well, like the way that she does her videos, she's just banging her makeup on with her fingers and it's like, yeah, that's how I remember it back in the 90s, being a teenager and you know, everything was a bit haphazard but we were happy with it with, with it like that, it wasn't all about total perfection, you know, having a million brushes, so that works for some people, I really don't want to put that down, but I like something that's not eaten into my time too much. So yeah. That's probably the kind of colour that I would go for, not too much darker, um, and it works with every skin tone really, it's vegan, it's cruelty free, it is about 25 euros, um, I've got to say that the delivery costs were probably around the same, but once it's converted to the pound I think it ended up being about 36 pounds. So that can be a lot to some, it could be minimum to others that like to buy designer brands. However, that tube is going to probably last a long, long time. So if you find something that you really love and you like to keep your, um, your appearance very consistent, which is pretty much what I'm about as well, I usually just have a little bit of mascara. Um, maybe have a little bit of blusher and something on my lips. I used to use a base, a foundation base, but um, I wouldn't really do that unless I was going to a special event now or filming or something or for photography. Um, and that has been thanks to, well, I'm going to praise myself actually, thanks to myself, some of the, the steps that I took over the years changing part of my lifestyle. Um, particularly diet, coming off dairy, gradually starting to introduce more fibre and 
vegetables, pulses, lentils, and then anti-inflammatory diet was top of my game as well for treating some of the underlying conditions, some of the root causes, um, inflammation being the root of all disease. I was really looking at anti-inflammatory diet, but also removing um, meat eventually because I started to do a lot of research and I got into the ethics of things and eventually became more of a plant-based vegan diet. And vegan actually covers your whole lifestyle. A lot of people think it's just about food. So if you have thought about um, being vegan and you're not sure of the steps to take, if you want to do more research, there's people you can follow online. If you want to follow my Instagram account, I do give a shout out sometimes to people that you can follow that help you start off with that or give you some information and some advice, some recipes. Um, so yeah, my products have been getting used up because I, I think it's wasteful to just turn vegan overnight and get rid of everything. Um, it's important to obviously be resourceful, use up what you've got first and then when you start to run out of what you already have, then replace them with more vegan cruelty free. So it's all about supply and demand. If we are demanding that things go a different way with our treatment of animals, um, also with the kind of natural products that I use, I like to try and go with things that are not going to be too toxic once they're absorbed through my pores. Um, so it's taken a lot of time, but you end up feeling quite proud of yourself once you realise that your footprint is not so heavy when it comes to the red thread, um, the little red thread that joins us all together. My eyes, I've really just put on an eyeliner today and smudged it in the eyeliner that I have recently acquired, which is now the one eye eyeliner I will be using, is the Satin Liner by Victoria Be Beckham which um, goes on really smoothly. It's in bronze and it also comes with a little smudger at the end. The bronze shade I felt was quite good because it's not overly harsh when you've got pale skin like me. It does look a lot darker on the ring light that I'm using at the moment. Um, but when you're out in daylight, it tends to enhance out a green shade of, shade of eyes and although mine looks a bit brown at times, they normally are quite green, so it, se it seems to go quite well with green eyes. Um, and yeah, that comes with a sharpener, and I think it's £20 on her website. Again, she's using the vegan, cruelty free approach. Um, and that's it, really. There's just eyeliner, a little bit of the La Mousse de Rouge, and if you wanted to try it on your cheeks, this is actually the first time I'm using this on my cheeks, so we'll see how this goes. Um, okay. My skin's actually looking really um, shimmery for some reason, and I think it's, I have been using extra serums this week. So um, the Tropics serums that I use, are super greens um, but there's glowberry and I used that a couple of times it's got vitamin C in it so it seems to have kind of given a bit of a shine a lot of people maybe don't like that and try and matte it down but I don't mind right now just being a disco ball so let's see what happens Ooh, it's actually got quite a strong pigment and again I ain't no MUA so I just kind of go with it Sometimes you want like a real Hollywood 50s sort of classic cheek so you could darken it up and just go with that. Your cheekbones and your lips making a statement. My cheekbones are pretty much non-existent so hamster cheeks. And I'm not 
got into the thought of changing my face cosmetically, um, like with surgery or Botox or anything. Um, so I've just learned to embrace what I got. It. <laughs> Which is wee hamster cheeks. I do have a neuromuscular condition though, so it does create a lot of tension in the jawline. Um, so that can kind of puff out your chin and sometimes my chin looks like it's not a chin, it's got about nine chins. So yeah, that's my review of the Mousse de Rouge by Yolaine and yeah, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you'll hang about for more videos. It's all things about consciously living mind, body, soul and a little bit of enhancing your outer and inner beauty. Take care.